Strike. No one's saving those. Um, Sam, I'm just going to focus back in on you for a moment there. Obviously, you've been in the professional game. Uh, you know, you went from Spurs, you've dropped down into the lower leagues, and then you finally dropped out into the non-league level. How's that transition been um, in terms of, you know, full-time and then dropping down into a, into a part-time situation? Mm. Um, it's a good question because uh, it's been very hard okay, for, a, for a younger player, uh, which I was, I think I was 20, 21 at the time mm. when I was on the verge of dropping out of the league at Barnet. Um, it's tough to accept. Really, it was, it was tough to accept because, you know, at Spurs, we wasn't taught of this non-league mm. situation. Like when I was going on loan, I was, I was being loaned to League Two clubs, Cheltenham, mm. uh, Torquay at the time. So this whole non-league training part-time was, was a whole new world for me. And uh, it, it was difficult to, to take. Mm. Did you have support? Yeah, of course. Of course, my mum and dad have, have always been there for me. Mm. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, yeah. In terms in terms of dealing with it, it, it was it was quite hard. Mm. Um, like I said, you're not you're not taught nothing about training part time, and mm. especially when you see players that you've you've trained with and played with, um, you know, doing so well in in the Premier League and mm. obviously breaking through into their respective yeah. Premier League clubs, yeah. it's 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 difficult to take. Um, but you know, things come up in life that you have to deal with, and I've always been a positive person. It's just another challenge for me to mm. um, to get over. So it's, but you're it's, playing. And there are exactly. so many people that aren't. Yeah. I mean, what, is the, what are the statistics for that, for someone mm. to yeah. actually stay and you've play put, football at all? Right on the spot. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Well, I knew this, and now yeah. it's gone out of my head because I'm quite yeah. upset. <laughs> but the thought of all these, you know, you watch the documentaries. Yeah. What is it, like 90% of people will mm. just drop out and you'll never see mm. them again? I think yeah. it's higher than that, isn't it? Mm. I mean, you're still playing, mm. and statistically, the odds are stacked against you. Mm. So that must, that must be like a major achievement. It is an achievement. Um, of course, I'm, I'm playing football every week now, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm loving it. I think I've played over 150 non-league games now in fantastic. total so it's fantastic I, I feel I'm t I'm just turned 24 so I, I feel like I've been about You're just a baby I know I was yeah. just gonna say the opposite but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm playing I'm enjoying it and I think a lot of younger players that are you know was in my situation don't feel bad about dropping down into non-league or the, the conference prem or the conference south conference right. north whatever just go play games enjoy your football if there's any advice i can give just go and enjoy your football because you know i was i was at barnet for uh, for two years i think and towards uh, in my second season i wasn't playing at all i wasn't getting the squad and i was really mm. you know frustrated beating myself up you know i've, I've got to play i've got to do this you know it, mm. We had we had four, five, six different managers in two years. It was mm. hard for me to establish myself with one manager. Mm. Is that frustrating? I mean, is. we are in a sport where mm. I'm not in a sport. Look mm. at me. Uh, where the turnover is so high. Yeah. And, you know, you interview players. They seem like they, they want that pastoral guidance. They seem. Mm. How do you prove yourself to a guy who might not be here in a few weeks? It's it's, it's hard, but you know, you just got to deal with it. Whilst the manager is in charge, you've just got to play to the best of your ability. And you know, one week you might be playing. I remember I was. Um, I was starting for Bath. I think I played a run of four games. I was starting. And, um, Mark Stimson, the manager who actually brought me in, uh, he he got the sack unfortunately because he, he was a great guy. Um, and I remember we played Stevenage away, and uh, you know I, I was out the team you know straight away, and mm. I, I I struggled to get back in the team. Martin Allen took over, threw me straight in at right back. Um, oh, good stuff. And then Martin Allen was gone. So it's, it's <laughs> and it's just like that. Yeah, it's it's just uh, that's that's just the nature of football for you. It's somebody's gonna like you. Somebody, some people aren't. It's Strike! No one's saving those.